The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus came with his disciples into the house. Again, the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them to even eat. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him, for they said, he is out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. And that's a short gospel. It might be the shortest one there is, I don't know, but it's only two verses. But there's a really powerful challenge in there for us in those few words. Here's what's going on. Jesus had been uh, preaching around the Lake of Galilee, and then he had moved into to, to Galilee, the area, to start preaching there, the towns and villages. So it's his home turf. It's like us coming back to Hancock County, if you will, and going visiting people in Hancock County. And uh, so he's curing the sick, he's casting out demons, and he's garnering the ire of the Pharisees. They don't like what he's doing because he forgives sins and only God can forgive sins and they don't make the connection there. And he cures a man on the Sabbath with a withered hand. Uh, reminds me of my friend Marty. He cures him of that withered hand. And the Pharisees are upset with Jesus because he worked on the Sabbath. But in today's gospel, he like goes into this house and it's like his hometown area. And the crowds are pushing at him so much he can't even eat. And his relatives say, he is crazy. He is out of his mind. And uh, they're right, he was. <laughs> because he wasn't concerned about himself. He was totally focused on the love of God and serving his neighbor, doing the will of God. And I was thinking about it last night and it reminds me of St. Francis. St. Francis, after he heard the call, he's praying in this little chapel, this little church called St. Saint, Saint Domino, St. Domino, something like St. Damien, St. Damien. And from the cross that's above the, uh, this little chapel, it's about not much bigger than the size of our adoration chapel. Anyway, from this cross above, he hears God say, rebuild my church. And so Francis takes him literally. And, um, you know, later on, he'll figure out he's not talking about the building. He's talking about the people to build the church. But he takes him literally. And so Francis goes and takes his father's, some of his father's um, material. He's a cloth merchant. So he takes some of his material, he sells it, and he goes and buys bricks and mortar, and he's patching up the old church. Well, the father thinks Francis has gone crazy. He is out of his mind. So he drags Francis in front of the bishop and uh, tells him what's going on. And Francis takes off all his clothes, and he gives them to his father and says, I only have one father. It's a father in heaven. Of course, the bishop takes off his cloak, and he, and he wraps up St. Francis. But Francis was indeed, you could say, out of his mind, one concerned about himself. He was totally focused on the will of the Father. So if you look at Jesus and St. Francis, uh, there's, there's a lot of similarities, a lot of parallels there. They were not concerned about their own welfare. It was like a third order effect, if you will. Their main concern was doing the will of the Father, which was serving God's people, our neighbors, our brothers, and our sisters. So they, you could say they were acting really foolishly in the eyes of men. Um, but St. Paul says that the foolishness of God is wiser than the wisdom of men. And it's wiser because the foolishness of God is rooted in love. And that's what make, gives it its wisdom. And so the challenge, the challenge for us is can we do the will of the Father? Can we open ourselves up, avail ourselves to the love of God to come in us so that we can then serve our neighbor? And uh, so a real simple way to do it, say it is, can we come out of ourselves, totally focused on self and what our needs are and what we want, can we come out of ourselves and enter the kingdom of love, a kingdom where we 
put others before ourselves and we try to help them. So, incredible challenge for a very short little reading today. <laughs>